Hey guys, it's me again, Young RPG Master. This is my third tutorial, and today I'll be teaching you about autonomous movement with NPCs. Each NPC is an event. Each event can be an NPC or anything else, such as a cutscene trigger. Within each event, there's an option to use autonomous movement. And frequency will determine how fluid their movement is. Speed will determine how fast the movement is. So it's pretty normal. And then the type, if it's fixed, it won't do anything. If it's random, it will move at random. If it's approach, I believe it will try and approach you. And if it's custom, you can add all different sorts of movement commands. Here are the options. This one's repeat action, meaning it will do the command over and over and over again and then it won't stop unless there's a obstacle blocking its path. This skip if cannot move means that, for example, let's just set this to fixed and then let's do set move route and then this event and then skip if cannot move means that if you for example if you keep moving down and then you encounter like an obstacle for example you might want it to move right so you can do this and then it'll keep moving right because there's repeat action and skip if cannot move and then you can make it go into a loop so you c you're actually adding intelligence to the NPC. Another thing about autonomous movement is that it automatically gives the event a move route and with each of these commands move down, move left, move right, move up it moves the character move lower left, move lower right, move upper left, move upper right it also moves the character although I don't experiment with them much Move at random means that the NPC will keep moving at random. I recommend it with repeat action for autonomous movement. Um, move towards player means that it'll keep moving towards the player. Move away from player means it will keep moving away from player. Move one step forward means that depending on the direction they're facing, it will move forward. Move one step backward, same thing except backwards. Jump means you automatically jump at the same place or you can also jump to another position in the map. Wait means it will make this event wait. Turn down means you make it turn down, turn left, turn right, turn up, turn 90 degrees, right, left, 180 degrees, right, left, turn at random. <laughs> you can also make it turn towards the player, turn away from the player. Switch on means it will activate a switch. Switch off means it will turn off a switch. Change speed means you can actually make it like change the speed. Change frequency means you can change the fluidity of its walking. And then you have a bunch of other things here. Base, I actually use a lot of those. And they're mainly used for cutscenes and events. Or events where like the player interacts with other characters that have various realistic actions. So I'm gonna cancel here and then that's just a glimpse of one NPC. What I did was I just basically set move route to random and then changed them a bit, copy pasted, changed their sprite, changed their priority a bit and then basically what you can come up with is a bunch of moving NPCs. See? So all of them are basically just events that move at random. You can create a livelier atmosphere with this technique or you can also make more livelier cutscenes. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll be making some more hopefully soon. Bye.